until a couple of days ago, I had never walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. I'd been to Selma dozens of times. I was in Selma in the heart of the movement. I was in Selma when Jim Clark was riding up and down the street with his posse, uh, waving that cattle prod that he loved to shock people with. I know people who were beaten in Selma. I know people who almost died in Selma. Uh, I'd never walked across the bridge until the University of Virginia helped me to walk across it just the other day. And that was a, a moment of excitement. Crossing the river, looking down at the water, uh, wondering what I'd do if there were a line of state troopers ahead. Would I behave with the same courage and dignity as did those people all those many, many years ago? So it gave me a, a sense of connectedness to the history I teach and tell my students about that I couldn't have had any other way. I'm teaching the history of civil rights at a major American university and there was no such course like this 15, 20 years ago. Getting involved in social change in the United States and it doesn't really matter whether you're talking about racial or environmental or economic. Fighting for social change in the United States requires you to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Something like this gives you a chance to experience it through your own eyes, to put yourself in the other person's place. Um, and the more people who do that, then of course, the more kind of change, good change, we're gonna have. It began for me as it did for many more. About February 4th, 1960, I was sitting in a cafe near my college campus in Atlanta, Georgia. A student named Lonnie King approached me. He held up a copy of that day's black newspaper, The Atlanta Daily World. The headline read, Greensboro students sit in for third day. Have you seen this, he demanded. Yes, I have, I said. What do you think about it, he inquired. I think it's great. Don't you think it ought to happen here? Oh, I responded, I'm sure it will happen here. Surely someone will do it here. Then to me it came, as it came to others in 1960, a query, an invitation, and a command. Why don't we make it happen here?